is support of SAG. I managed to catch Influenza 3 last, Saturday, last Sunday, and it was really good. I enjoyed it. I, may, I watched it in Adobe Surround Sound AMC, which I highly recommend. That's how you watch the film, because this film, the sound system, it just <laughs> makes you feel like the it's surround system. So, like, you can feel the out, like, like the sound is coming seen around you. And that is just so well done and so well interesting. And the violence in this movie, that sound really, and then the, the sound system really intensifies it. Um, This film is written by Antoine Fuqua and is beautifully shot. But I do feel like this film does feel like a last, feels like a conclusive. But I also feel like this film should be, it should have been more. There should have been more to it. Now, what I say by that is, there should have been a greater threat that, that Denzel, the Denzel Washington's character should have, should have had to rise up to. But it wasn't really that, because it feels like a lot of the people he was fighting, he took them down with ease. Like, they were nothing. That that's what I felt like the film was like. It was very much like an eighties, nineties esque action film. It felt very like you know an Arnold Schwarzenegger, like kind of like you know, just just all you get is action, which is good. It is good. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying that when you look at it from a plot, it has a good plot, a good rising action, a good. Antoine Fuqua knows how to shoot a really good movie. The script is really well done. But I do have to say that this film is a very interesting film. As in, it's hard for a film like this. I mean, you do feel for him. Because you know, unless there are the other films you've seen him. But it really feels like there hasn't been one villain where I'm like maybe in the second film I think the second film I watched it and I really like the villain there the villain actually knows him and knows how he operates and knows how does watching his character operates um and the villain is played by um Pascal but um that's in chapter two. And I would say, this film is really good, but I, I have to say, there was no villain where I'm like, oh, he's going to have a hard time. It really felt like, oh, he's just going to let the fun with him. But I was really into the film. So I have to say that, although there wasn't really an intense villain, it had, it had the intent, he still made it enjoyable to watch. So I do enjoy this film. I did enjoy this film. So, Equalizer 3. I loved it. I think it's a good film. Kind of like a film that I would watch probably when it comes out on DVD. I'll probably watch it again. Just because how good it is. I'm definitely excited for that. Um, but, yeah. I mean, that film is just super great. So, I do recommend... Equalizer thing, I think it's a great film, although at times it can be a little bit iffy. Just because the characters, like, there wasn't one big villain that was like, oh, he's gonna... Yeah, but I do have to say, as a film of itself, I think it's great. I think Denzel Washington does an amazing job playing this operative. Uh, he has this thing where he sets his time on his on his watch... And he can set a time, and he can take these people down in certain time. Like, in in the film, he basically says, I'll give you nine seconds to decide, and puts his watch on, and sets a timer for nine seconds, and then he starts hitting them down. And he starts taking them down after those nine seconds. And you actually see the clock, and it's nine seconds later, where he actually starts beating them up. The timing on this film is really good as well. 
So I do enjoy this film, and I think it's a really good experience in theaters. So that's a film that I really enjoyed. My next film, I will be going into the Conjuring series. And I'll be doing a chronological order, which means I'll be starting with The Nun, and then I'll be doing The Nun 2. Expect the nun, the nun review to come out before I do the nun too, and then I will, will go um, in chronological order through all the Conjuring and all the um, films like that. Uh, don't worry, Saw Timber is still happening. Saw Timber is. Don't worry, I will have the first Saw Timber film up by next week. And I will continue from then, right? Next week is when we will start Saw Timber. And remember, I will be watching the new Saw film when it comes out as well. So don't worry about that. This year's going to be a huge pack tier for films. I'm excited. I am. I am still watching the new scene if films do get distracted a bit. Like, do if some films get, uh, how do you say, um, set back due to... The strikes going on, so we do know that uh, Dune 2 will not be coming out in November. It will be coming out next year in March, so I have I still have time for that, which means I get to re-listen to the book, which I'm excited to because I'm going to probably re-listen to the book so I can get more info on the on it. So when I do a Dune review, I don't worry, my Dune review is coming as well. Don't and and I will also be diving into the Sicario films. Yes, I will be I will be doing Sicario. Yeah, I love that series. That series of two films. Pink Cinema. Uh, especially Sicario One. I like Sicario One the best. Sicario Two is good, but Sicario One's better. So yeah, I mean that's been my um. That's been my Equalizer One. My I mean, I mean my Equalizer Three video and my. And my roadmap for the next couple of films. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Like, subscribe, and share. And please, support SAG.